Welcome back to Hearthstone. Let's do another gimmick deck. Today, let's look at the Dyson Priest. Basically, it's a variant of the classic Randwin win, which pretty much any Randwin win deck, which is a random priest, every card has a random effect. So, I mean, it's they're all pretty much the same. Just look for, for cards to do random stuff. Throw them together and uh, see what you get. So, of course, Mind Visions, you got that. You have the, um, where's that? Where is it at? What's it called again? I can't remember. Three, cost three mana. Uh, thought steal. There we go. So thought steal, mind vision, both random cards in your opponent's deck. That kind of is the backbone of most priest decks. You have mind games, of course. Uh, there's other random things like that, like resurrect. But when you're resurrecting, there's not a lot of big creatures to resurrect. You'll see shadow boxer. This isn't a really heal heavy deck, so he doesn't work very well. And death cultist. It's random on a death rattle, kind of like the mechs. So. It's a silenceable random to get rid of the random effect, so I don't really like it. It doesn't really fit the theme super well. So let's go through it. We got two Mind Visions, two Knife Jugglers. Whenever you summon, do another damage to summon at random. Lower Walker Cho, not really random, but if someone plays a card, you'll get that. Plus, it's a good deterrent to slow down the early game with people who have spell-heavy decks. Mad, Mad Bomber, it's three damage split randomly. Nat Pagel, random chance to get a card. Recombobulator, you can turn something into something at random. Thought Steal, of course, get the things from the peoples. Uh, Alarm of Bot. Chance to draw something from your hand, put it on the field at random. It, It's also... It's a taunt. Because people see Alarm of Bot, they kill him. This has only one. Because he's not really a core part. Demolisher. Two damage to a random enemy. Uh, mind Control Tech. Two of these, because there's a lot of aggro-heavy decks out there. Save a chance to steal something from the board and just kind of even it out a bit. The uh, Tink Master Overspark. Random chance. 5-5 five, five, or 1-1. One, one. It tends to go against you, but whatever. Uh, mind Games. Random from the opponent's deck. It's random. Uh, Mad Bomber. I'm sorry, Bomb Lobber. He's a 5-mana 3-3, which works really well with the Recombobulator, plus it's a 4 damage battle cry to a random enemy minion. You can make it kind of cheesy by having only one like opponent on the field and be randomly targeted to the one, but it's still random. ETC, of course, random power rock card. Matter Bomber, 6 damage, randomly split. Goblin Mechatork, random invention that can either help or hinder you. Uh, Sylvanas, take control of a random enemy minion. Ragnaros, of course, random thing. Nefarian, 2 random spells from your opponent again. And mind control, it's not random, but generally late game, you need something to help turn around. If if you're not winning by late game with mind control, you might have a chance to take someone's Ragnaros or Dr. Boom, because everyone tends to run those. Other things you can put in there, Young Priestess, like that and the, uh, the Master Swordsman, they're pretty good early game, but if you get them late, it doesn't help you a lot. So turn one or two or three, you could get like a 3-3 three, three Juggler or a 1-4 Cho, which is decent, but not enough to put it in there. Captain's Parrot and the ship's cannon. Pirate themes, not really that random. If I had a pirate deck, it would work. Alarm Bot, not good. We only got one, we don't need two. All right. Uh, Enhanced Mechanico, it'd be good for the board, but this board, generally you don't have a lot of creatures in the field at a time. You kind of just try to kill things with bombers. Uh, Hungry Dragon benefits the opponent, even though it's your 5-6 for you. It might be worth putting in there. This one is two specific secrets. And you have a lot of cheap shit. The secret shouldn't really hurt you that much. Plus, you have Cho down. You'll know they're going to have secret anyway. The Shredder and the Golem. It's a Death Rattle random. Not super great. So, I just it's a, if it's a silenceable random, I don't want to put it in there. The Battle Cry for this one to, to attack a less. Eh, I thought about it for the Stampeding Kodo, but couldn't really fit it. Gazzo, one mana spells. We only have two of those. Let's see what's I'm missing. Blinktron. He might be worth putting in there. Just for fun. Maybe take out the mind control for that. And Sneed, of course, the other thing that is... Death Rattle, random. Uh, I used to have a Deathwing instead of an Afarian in here, just for another turn 10, clear the board in my advantage. I might put him back in, I'll see if an Afarian works. This is the first time I put him in here. So let's take him to the ladder, see how well it does. Alright. Dyson Priest, ring 19, let's go. We are three or four days in the new season, so it, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Maybe everyone who wanted to rank up really quick, they're already, they're already past rank 19. So I don't have to deal with like, the super broken net decks. Maybe just be like the other, other rank 19 scrubs like me. Alright, Nando at level 20. Alright. Okay. The light shall burn you. Well, that's turn 5. Don't need that. That's also turn 5. 5. Uh, Tink Master. Uh, I'll keep him. Because you never know. Oh, perfect. Mind Vision. And a recombobulator. So Mind Vision turned to Demolisher. He probably will have a Priestess. An 
angry chicken. He's going to buff the hell out of that. Isn't he? Yep, Velen's chosen, turn three. Okay. That's, okay, well, well, uh, shit. I'm going to wait until he plays Velen's chosen, and then I'll just turn into a, uh, hopefully a squirrel. That, that was the key decision. I had to buff the chicken. I like this guy. Chicken priest. Alright. So, we'll just play a Demolisher. Try to bait out that vision. Chosen. Whatever it's called. Would you want to waste Valen's Chosen on a chicken? It's potential, but then again, you're fighting another priest. You have to have a feeling that he's going to destroy it. Oh, he's doing it. Alright. Hit it for three. No. If he hits it, and it blows it up. Alright, where's my bomb gonna go? Two. Just need to hit it with one. Just hit it with one. Just hit it with one. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, we'll kill it next turn. He can't heal it more than three unless he's got a bunch of heals. And if he kills my thing, I'll transform it into something that's not an eight damage card. Perfect. Tink Master over Spark. Save the day. Stupid chicken. Man. There's a 3 5. I can heal it back down. Or. We can just do one of these and go fuck yourself, chicken. Now you're easier to deal with. Little, l l not really. Shit. <laughs> uh, if he goes for face, I can use his own villain's chosen against him. Oops. Unless he has a second villain's chosen, double its health. Wow. All right, it's fine. We just survive till turn ten. And then we get a free dinosaur. Alright, what can we do here? Maybe mind games. His deck probably is full of shit. Never mind. A 6-6, six, six, that's not bad. That's pretty decent. What is it? 6 mana, 6-6. Six, six. So if he hits it for 1, HP left. Unless he has a shadow word, death. Ha! Joke's on you, my hand's full of shit. <laughs> so, hit it, recombobulate, get something good. Or chosen, hit it, recombobulate. I might do that. That's actually a pretty good idea. It should be enough to maybe take it down. Depends who he hits with it. Okay. Chosen won't matter. I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, I don't have a Shadow Word Death. This dude. <laughs> I've got to think super hard. Alright. See, six. Could try our luck. Let's try our luck. Boom! Perfect. And now I still have a really good recombobulate target. I mean, if I lose a 6-6, six, six, not a big deal. I'd rather recombobulate the 6-6, six, because six, there's tends to be better options in the 6-mana field. 5-mana has a lot of Battlecry stuff that... Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. C3, well. Might hit that. X2. Gotta heal up. Hit you. Okay. This kind of sucks. This guy's deck is weird. It's hard for me to counter. He got too much momentum early game. I might be... Might, might be effed. 
Cro Magnus. But awesome. Uh, can I counter Cro Magnus? With any of my I don't have any really hard removals, but I can do one of these, one of those. That doesn't work. That's, that's pretty shitty. Let's try it again. Give me something good. <laughs> sure. Attack twice. The five mana field. Not that great. It's a lot of effect cards. The six mana field. Shit gets crazy. I think there's... The best thing you can hope for like the five mana field is the Shaman 7-8 Taunt. I don't have to trade a lot into that guy. Of course, he just spawned a bunch of shit. For oh no! Hmm. Should have saved my coin. My apologies. Please. Oh, I lost. Thank you. My apologies. Hit penis. What a weird, unconventional deck from J Paz. Simple enough. All right, let's try it again. The random priest doesn't work. It's it's in ladder. Randwin win was a really good deck like early, early before like any of the expansions or adventures came out. Now it's just kind of like yeah, this might win, but generally not. It's the it's the theme with a lot of gimmicks. There's very few gimmicky decks that actually win like every time. I've got one for next. Oh man, we're totally gonna keep Cho. We're gonna get rid of the bomb lobber. We're gonna keep Cho for this hunter, even though he's a fate. Ah oh, man, he. Secrets might be good. I might just wait and play Bomber, because he'll probably play a bunch of charge shit. Because it's a hunter. And once a hunter, always a hunter. We'll find out now. If he throws down, like, a charge of Murloc. Or something else stupid shit that they tend to play. Sean Tegu. Yeah. Oh. Secrets. Uh, it should be good to kill it. So let's just play this. One. There we go. Now he has to trade. It's Face Hunter. It's always Face Hunter. Gonna take some damage. Yep, see, that, that's a Face Hunter right there. It's tried and true. Everyone knows how to do Face Hunter. Stupid, unimaginative Face Hunter. Yeah, I got, got a secret. When I when I attack with my bow, secrets pop out. Go and face. I'm a I'm an unimaginative nerd. That's fine. We'll use some Wolfrider against him next turn. Let him try to attack the spider. Yeah. See, that's, I'm okay with. He's only going to have a 1-2 on the board. Still a beast, but we can kill that with that. Kind of a waste, though. One of these. One of those. There we go. Kill that. Throw down the Cho. And try to bait out that last charge on that bow. <laughs> and if not, we got double golden matter bombers. I'm not a big fan of keeping gold cards, but the matter bomber I had to keep. Thanks for the spell, sucker. going super face. Now, let's see. Go with this. Not a huge deal if he gets something of mine, because my cards aren't that good. Neither are his. <laughs> his cards are pretty shit, actually. It's a face hunter, I forgot. They're all like one drops. Well, that's fine. I'll just... Use kill command. We can buy kill command. Thanks for that back. Ha! It's a 3-3. Three, three. Just as bad. Alright, what are we going to do here? One of these. One of these. Oh, triggered the secret. 
still got Stalag. It's Face Hunter. I really hate Face Hunters. Everyone out there who plays a Face Hunter, this is why people hate you. It's the same dick. Over and over. Oh, yeah, well, we're just going to concede here. You big dick. Oh, man. All right. That's cool. All right, let's go one more time. Be nice to win once. Brandon Win used to be really good. He used to be more competitive back when the only really bad rush decks were like Zulok and Old Face Hunter. But after GVG and the two adventure modes, New Face Hunter, uh, Paladin, New Warlock, <laughs> all of them were kind of really fast early game decks. All right, don't need mind control. I'll still keep my vision. I'll keep. Don't need the armor bot. Got no creatures. Well, this is even worse. I think the next the next gimmick deck I'll do has to be something that works really a little bit better in the current meta. What do we got? What do we got? Ice block. Well, I know what I'm gonna play. They'll never see it coming. One damage. No, no, I can I can fish all day. You don't even know, mage. All day fishing. Let's see. Ah. And it didn't trigger his trigger. Oh, we got an ice block. Oh, shit. That 3-3 will be a 5-5 soon. We're playing ice block next turn. No! He saw through my clever strategies. Is it the end of your turn? There we go. Behold! The strongest of creatures. Um, if he goes... Oh, no. No! Oh, that's not that bad. Might not kill it. Yeah! Only hit Nat Pagel. Alright, let's test the luck. Go to the right! Yeah, fuck that guy up. 7 4. Versus 7 7. He can easily kill with a fireball. Another one? Are you kidding me? Oh, you dick. That is super lucky. Can't even get mad. He's RNG with the best of them. Was this three mana? Well, gotta play this. I have no time for games. Try to steal something. Hopefully it's 9-6, unless he has a polymorph, which he might have. No. Is he gonna go full face? Oh. Perfect 3 3. Oof. Oof. So much damage. Five damage. Alright, hit Sylvanas. Hit Sylvanas. Yeah, one more time. Booyah! Let's take the one on the right! Left. Shit. Let's see, a three drop. Then let's do one of these. He's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, if only he didn't draw that card. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Right, is there any way I can stop this? Something good. That's not good. Something good. That fireball might work, because I am going to not die thanks to his ice block. So... Uh, that's not good. Oh my god, two of them? Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Duplicate! More secret keepers! He's gonna have more than I will. 
I don't have spell power. Oh, man. Or place another creature, please. That's not a creature. Ice block, sucker. Hmm. It's out of range of that spell. Give me a blizzard? Well, shit. <laughs> oh, we could polymorph one. Flame Cannon 1, that'll do nothing. Well, fuck. We lost another one. You have best. Let's go one more. We're on rank 20. I mean, come on, what are the chances of... We're getting like really cool decks. I haven't seen a Secret Mage like that in a long time. Oh, hey, level 50. Another goal of mind control. It's been... It's been ages since I've seen a Secret Mage. They all usually run... Um, the spare part into the Archmage and Fireball Spam. Another mage. It's not the same one, is it? No. This is mess him up. Okay. Mad Bomber, keep that. We'll keep the Thought Steel. Get rid of him. Matter Bomber. I mean, I can't go blame rank 20. I don't care about getting to Legend. If I care about getting to Legend, I wouldn't play gimmick decks. Oh, ooh, my play Cho. My play Cho against the mage. Especially if he plays that mana worm first. Will he have a mana worm? Will he be a typical mage? No. <laughs> Never doubt the power of Cho. People have quit matches when I play when you play Cho like first turn. Cause they don't know how to deal with it. Like I've got so many spells I don't want to give them. The best the best way to deal with Cho is you just give your opponent a spell and kill it. Oh no. Let's do this. Ah oh, shit. I gave him some cards. But I got some cards of my own. Alright, what is he? Nothing good. I mean, the Abomination's nice. It's a good turn four. Will he play it back? He might play it back. Um, probably, I mean, Mad Bombers are really, oh, what a play. Kill him a Cho. Well, joke's on him. It's time for a bomb. Er, two on him. Yeah, fine, fuck you. <laughs> How you like that? How you like me now? Let's see. Abomination next turn. Matter Bomber next turn? Try it again. I think Abomination's the best bet. It will kill my dude, but if I trade first, it won't be a big deal. I just have a nice wall. I wonder. You son of a bitch. Alright. Didn't work with the Mad Bomber. So maybe we just we weren't angry enough. Just need two to one hit him, two hit him, there we go. Nice even spread. Thanks very much, Bomber. Thanks for the thing. It actually worked out. That usually doesn't happen. Usually you're just a big old pile of poop. Chazdingo. Chazdingo. <laughs> well. That's actually kind of dumb. We can heal. Hit. Recombobulate. That way he can't kill it. And get a 7 8 taunt! Uh, turn 6 Blizzard. Let's throw this down before the Blizzard goes off. And get some, uh. Get some decent damage. Now that. That is how you recombobulate. That's the best way to recombobulate. I love this card. It's the best RNG in the deck. Aw. Oh, well, that's one Plymorph gone. Got a relatively weak field. If he doesn't play any creatures, I'm going to Tink Master and hope for a 5 5. And probably Arcane Intellect as well. What you gonna do, Mage? Typical. And if I happen to get the Devil Sword, it'll be out of range of Flame Strike. I got a Devil Sword. 
intern. And another bomb lava. So, flame strike, boss level 5 more on the board. Oh, a, oh, this guy's... He might be a new player. If he is, I feel kind of bad. Alright. Let's double up the RNG, because I'm going to lose my Tink Master. Yeah, these are all basic cards. He's only played basic cards, hasn't he? This, this could be a new player. I might... <laughs> if it's a new player, I'll feel kind of bad. I don't like crushing new players with gimmick decks, because gimmick decks work really well against new players. Eight cards in your hand, man. You must have a lot of options. Mind Vision. You still have a Mind Vision. There's nothing in the hand that's really good for him right now. I mean, if you get some Mind Control, it's kind of bad, but I can just Mind Control right back. So. Uh, MC Tech, I'll just not play more minions. And we'll just trade that. Take that to that. Heal that back up. Attack with this. ETC. What do we get? Rogues do it. It's a pretty good card. Because Murlocs would have hurt. Then he would have MC Tech the Murloc. And I can't let him have a 1 1. Maybe Abomination next? Maybe. Depends how he responds. He's gotta have some. I wonder. A flame strike and a ping would clear my board, but they wouldn't have anything. Then I would play the abomination. Maybe he's not running flame strikes. What? Abomination. Well, you're gonna die, little guy. That actually works in my favor. Because I also have a rogue do it. So it's going to take two damage, but eh. I'm going to play Nat Pagel. Heal him up, keep him out of flame strike range. If those two die, not a huge deal. 5-5 five, five dies. It's my, my biggest thing so far. I think I might go out with a Matter Bomber next turn. Hope to try to hit him three times. Oh, frozen. You got a flame strike? No, oh, four damage. Okay, you still have an issue where Oh? He's trying to survive. Flame strike. Okay. Alright. Need three to hit. Two, three. Yeah, we did it! We finally beat someone! Just has to be a new player, not playing a super aggressive deck. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the, uh, basically, it's commonly known as, commonly known as a Randuin win, as opposed to Anduin. They're, they're decent, they're fun. Don't expect to climb ladder. I do not expect to get anywhere, like, above maybe rank 16. But, there it is. There's the list of cards again. There's some things you can trade out. I can get rid of my control, put in a couple of the shredder shredders if you like those. Get rid of the... Uh, maybe get rid of... What else get rid of that isn't really random? Maybe get rid of one MTC, because they didn't come in handy at all. So I have one as opposed to two would be pretty good. Uh, maybe get rid of Cho. So I mean, and replace them with... To make it a bit more of a viable deck, your mid-range is kind of weak. Handsome Mechanico, if you have a good board presence, the pile of shredders are really good. So, I mean, definitely the Pilot Shredders. Probably put those in there to fix that. But, that's a random win. This is my Dyson Priest. See you next time.